I had a friend, Micheline Travers, and we were working with children. And one day she told me we should also learn a bit because if we give, we give, and we don't learn, we'll be completely empty. The day after, I was working in Rambam, and who I see, Susie Augustine and Judy Horowitz. And they told me about Drisha. They also said, you're going next week to America. And a few weeks later, she said, listen, I'm going to learn Gemara. I met this wonderful young woman who's been teaching for 10 years. And that young woman, who was a wonderful teacher, was Malka Bina. And I came back here and I phoned Malka Bina and I said, would you come in my house and I invite a few friends and teach us once a week? I said, yes, wonderful. Let's learn. Let's, uh, we, we had a small group. We developed more. And we learned together around Lily's dining room table. We had coffee breaks and we schmoozed and we learned. Twice a week we were learning uh, Parshat HaShavua. Slowly, slowly, more friends came. Pretty soon, Lily's dining room table began to be a little small. There were such wonderful uh, energies and, and strength in the women's Torah learning that let, let, we said, let's go further, let's, let's uh, create Matan. It was a great group of women. We had so much fun. We talked about everything, including the fact that we felt that whatever we start can't just be for older women. It has to have a core of young scholars. The other decision we took was that this would be not a beginner's program. All the shiurim would begin with intermediate to advanced. From when I was a young girl, I always remember myself wanting to learn more Torah. But as a young woman, I felt that I could go higher and I wasn't given enough opportunities. When we founded Matan, we said there would be two parts to Matan. One would be the adult education. I insisted we also needed a Beit Midrash. Beit Midrash is an incubator for the future, an incubator for the growth and development of, of leaders and scholars, of women leaders and scholars for the Jewish people. That from the beginning, I said to Susie, if you want to establish right. women as uh, legitimate in the area of advanced Torah study, you have to produce women at a level of Gedolei Ador. There are uh, hundreds of scholars who've graduated uh, from Matan's Beit Midrash and really leading the world in so many different programs. The way we open Matan in the Katamoni is very representative of what I would like Matan to be. It means a place where anybody can come and find a way to learn Torah. When the Russian Aliyah began, we said, what can we do? Can we collect clothing? We said, that's not us. We're going to set up a program to teach Yahadut, and we're going to do it in Russian. When the Ethiopian Aliyah began, we said, what can we do? How can we help? And we said, we can set up a program so these young women, the young women, can do Bagur. Uh, and these were Jews coming to Israel who really didn't know what it means to be a Jew. And we gave them the basics and the, be the beginnings of their Judaism. Matan was one of the first programs in Israel to offer serious Gemara learning for women. I joined a group of women. We were the third cohort of this advanced Talmud Institute. The understanding was we were going to work hard and study hard. I got to Matan for the first time when it was in the seminar of Frata. I got from Matan a letter that was written in the book. A book that allows for women to learn to learn Gemara for five days in a week with a milga. I sat here for almost four years. It was one of the most important letters that I got. בחיים שלי. זה מה שנתן לי להיכנס באופן משמעותי 
לעולם של לימוד תורה. One of our first scholars in the Beit Midrash, רבנית אושר קורן, heads מתן רננה, a big, great, wonderful division of מתן. פניתי למלכה ואמרתי לה, החלום שלי הוא להקים מתן במרכז הארץ. כשאנחנו הגענו לפה לפני 20 שנה, אני חושבת שהיה ממש שממה רוחנית. בזכות מתן, תורה של נשים עלתה פה. בשבילי מתן, קודם כל זה בית. כיף כל פעם לראות את הנשים, לראות את הצוות, אנחנו כמו משפחה. זה מה שמיוחד בבית מדרש שלנו. אותי מתן לימד, חוץ מללמוד תורה, על מעורבות בקהילה. אנחנו כבית מדרש משתדלים להיות מעורבים בעיר. לא להישאר בתוך הבית מדרש, אלא לצאת עם התורה שלנו החוצה. that their dynamic branch of Matan in Ranana and the new building that's now being built in Ranana both carry the name of Mindy Greenberg, Aleha HaShalom, a woman of deep faith, love of family, and great involvement in Torah learning and tefillah. Ayofi is a given. אנחנו בעצם לומדות הכל, ויש מגוון כל כך גדול שאפשר לבוא ולמצוא אם זה גמרא, אם זה הלכה, אם זה תנ״ך, אם זה מדרש. השפע הוא כל כך גדול שכל אחת יכולה למצוא את עצמה. מתן has a summer program. דף היומי. Learning דף יומי gives me a taste of the power and the magic of Halakha. And it also gives me an opportunity to connect with all those hundreds of thousands of Jews that are learning the same daf the same day. The various programs in Tanakh that we have, Matan Ala Peret, which is a six-year program, and two prekim a week, we finish all of Tanakh. We have a group in Teaneck, New Jersey studying, a group in Denver, a group in London, and of course, uh, all over Israel. Matan Bat Mitzvah program for mothers and daughters is a program about female leadership and about Jewish identity. And it empowers the young girls before their bat mitzvah to find their link in the chain of Jewish women through the generations. The program started in Ranana 20 years ago. Today it's all over Israel, all over the diaspora. It bridges the gaps between the religious and the secular because the program is about being empowered Jewish women and finding their positive values of Judaism. I have twin daughters in sixth grade. And it's a great way for us to sit down and learn something, Lishma, in a structured environment that's not just studying for one of their tests on Tuesday. I took the Bat Mitzvah program back to Seattle and I was working with the middle school girls at Seattle Hebrew Academy. We did some beautiful productions. Matan is training future leaders, future teachers, and future role models for the Jewish community here in Israel and within the diaspora. It's a great experience to learn about all these people, their background, and stuff that we don't learn about in every day in our classroom. Nasta po mapecha tarbutit, yehudit, nashit, meod meod gdola. Ma shematan asta meid gam al ma shematan misugelet lasso. Vani menasa letaer bene ruchi echter ae matan beod esrim lechamesh ana. Nasta yehudi matan ve David ve ani itiadat meod lazor lemalka livnot et ma shi banta ve lo rak lemalka lechol mi shekim et matan. אני נהנית פשוט מכל רגע. יום רביעי, שזה יום לימודים שלי, זה יום חג. We always decided to go somewhere new, to break the barriers. And I think that's what I find so exciting about my time. I think that we've changed the world of women's education, of girls' education. The warmth of, of the place here, everybody just is, is um, warm and welcoming. There really is something for everybody here. No matter what your background is, where you come from, whatever you can find a program that is good for you. I found a place where I could learn a lesson, which is a dream that I have for a long time. I took a break from the university. After 12 years in the school, I finished without opening the door to my life. The study here in Matan is really a way to understand my values and my values. I've never had learning like I've had at Matan when I was in America. I'd been here about six weeks and I went to my first Matan class. I felt like I was home. It is successful because we keep doing more and more. Two very special people who were pillars of Matan, Inga and Ira Rennert, who also believed so much in how much women can contribute 
how much uh, it's important for Judaism to have women at the helm, and they've really given so much to Matan. I really, I thank them from the bottom of my heart. Without Lily, there would be no Matan. Without Malka, there would be no Matan. Without Mickey Hochstein, there would be no Matan. <laughs> My husband is my best friend. He's my partner. I think he believes in me more than I believe in myself. And uh, I really uh, owe him a lot. I knew all the years as my best friend. She was very creative, but I never thought that she will be so creative to be the first one to think with her partners, the women around the table, to start something with many school following her. But she was the first one the most creative. It's really big honor to be here tonight. And Mazal Tov, and thank you to everybody. Chag Sameach. Of all the things I've done, Matan gives me, us I think, the greatest satisfaction. I remember Susie said that this is, we're doing Matan, so there'll be wonderful teachers and role models for the next generation. So here are our grandchildren, and Bemet, we've all done a wonderful job in Matan, and so many fine leaders and teachers and role models for the next generation. Mazal tov! Mazal tov to Matan on the 25th birthday. I want to welcome Matan in the 25th year that it grew. Mazal tov to Matan. Mazal tov. 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 To continue Michael Michael. To all you guys out there. Support the women who are doing this wonderful work. Hatzlachan, all of their programs. Mazal <laughs> tov.